What up though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome collective? I hope everyone of every zodiac sign is doing well. All right, you guys, so we're about to get into this Kelsey and see what it is that you need to know. If you find some resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. Who is this reading about for the collective? Who is this reading about? All right, so we got the Ten of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a Sag or you can be a Sagittarius. Now, for some of you, this has to do with someone who has a lot of responsibilities, okay, a lot of duties that they have to fulfill. So this could be like a single parent. This could be someone, you know, at work. But they're feeling burdened, though. Like, all these responsibilities, all these things they have to do, like, they're starting to take a toll on someone, okay? They can be feeling exhausted. Maybe they're having to put in a lot of hard work or they're struggling to put in this hard work, okay? And it's hard for this person to concentrate. So this could be you collective. This could be your energy. You know, it's like you got to carry on doing this each and every day. Like, you're the only person that can do it, okay? Ain't nobody else that can get the job done, but you, but it's like having to do this every single day for some of you, it's becoming a heavy burden, okay? All these responsibilities, all these people, all these things that you're responsible for. So let's see what the situation is with this Ten of Wands. Messages for my collective. So what is the situation surrounding this Ten of Wands for the collective? All right, the situation is the Knight of Swords. So I feel like for some of you, because of all these responsibilities, because of these duties, because you felt burdened and exhausted, for some of you, it has maybe caused you, caused you to miss out on some opportunity because you weren't focused, okay? There could have been an opportunity that was being presented or that could have been available for you, but because you already were tied down with all these burdens and responsibilities that you had to tackle, you know, maybe you were dealing with people who was rude, who was arrogant, they could have abused you emotionally and mentally here causing you to doubt yourself. So these could have been some type of intentions by a group of people or by someone. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. So there could have, been, could have been someone here that has a lot of responsibilities. This could be you collective, right? But the situation is because of how you've been feeling, because you've been tied down and burned down, like for some of you, you possibly missed out on some opportunity here because you wasn't focused. This could have been like a career opportunity. This could have been an opportunity to collaborate, you know, with someone. So let's see what happened in the recent past. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. So what happened in the recent past when it comes to the Ten of Wands? The magician, yeah. For some of you, this has to do with trickery and deceit. So someone here, I feel like, tried to... Someone here was trying to do this. You know, like someone here was intentionally... Throwing all these responsibilities on you, throwing all these duties. For, see, for some of you, this could be like in the workplace, right? Someone wanted you to feel exhausted because I feel like there was a particular opportunity that was coming around. This person wanted to make sure that you didn't get a hold to it here, okay? This is someone who tried to manipulate you and cause you to waste your talent here. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. I don't have to be. So for some of you, this could have to be like in the workplace. This could maybe even do with love. But it's like someone here saw your potential, but it was like they they purposely threw all these things up on you to cause you to miss some type of opportunity. Like they treat you out of some type of blessing here, okay? So what is the current problem? Messages for my collective. I love you guys. So we got Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we also got Sag here. So what is the current problem when it comes to this Ten of Wands? The Four of Cups. Yeah, now for some of you, I feel like you're depressed because you realize, like, damn, I missed out on that opportunity because I was doing this and I was doing that. Maybe you didn't see this person. This person that, you know, was trying to use trickery and deceit, they could have been in your blind spot. Like, you know, they were so, I feel like, this person was someone like, this trickster energy, like, you would have never saw this coming and you would have never expected it to be 
this person. Like they was in your blind spot. You know, when you driving in your blind spot, you can't see, you know what I'm saying, the cars behind you. But some of you, you didn't even see this, this backstab or this betrayal coming. Maybe you're feeling disconnected. Or you're trying to re evaluate some things here in your life, okay? Trying to figure out how you can possibly get this opportunity again. So for some of you, this can have to do with love. This can have to do with you, okay? I'm picking up kind of two different energies. For some of you, there could have been a trickster energy that caused someone to miss out on opportunity with you because they were tied down with all these responsibilities, these kids, and having to take care of this household and doing this. And for some of you, this may have happened with you like within your career. Like maybe some of you missed out on the opportunity because you were taking care of, you know, your responsibilities or taking care of other people and they may have caused you here, okay? So what are the outside influences when it comes to this Ten of Wands? Messages for my collective. So what were the outside influences? What was on the outside that was influencing this? What were the outside influences? Yeah, the sun. These people didn't want you to be happy. <laughs> These people didn't want you to be successful. They didn't want you to like be able to celebrate your accomplishments. Because I feel like for some of you, this has to do like with what you did for work and how you were trying to make your money and progress in life. Like they never wanted to see you be in that type of energy here. These people always just want to see you tied down. And burden, you know, they never want you to have good health. They never want you to celebrate these major milestones in your life. They never want you to have these good vibes, good vibes, receive your reward, and vibe high. Okay, this is what these people didn't want from you. And these were people on the outside. For some, these were people within your environment here. These were people surrounding you that did not want these things for you here. Okay. So, what are the hopes and fears now when it comes to this ten of wands? Messages for my collector. So what are the hopes and fears now when it comes to the Ten of Wands? Justice. For some of you guys, maybe you feel like you're going through some legal issues or you're experiencing some complications here. Okay, maybe you feel like these people want to take responsibility. Or some of you, maybe you feel like, you know, you're not taking responsibility and being like, you know what, that kind of was my fault. I allowed these people to try to trick me out of these opportunities here or you feel like this shit is just unfair it ain't fair but i feel like for some of you you could have made a bad investment as well okay financially so maybe you were financially helping people out as well and it's like now you know your money done kind of shorten up and dried up a little bit you kind of looking at these people for some type of assistance now they're looking at you like shit what you got your hand out for i can't I can't do nothing for you. So it was like the same people, what they say, never bite the hand that feeds you. So it was like these same people that you was helping out and taking care of and doing things for, now they're not going to be there when you need them, okay? For some of you, this could have been a situation where someone caused them to miss out on the opportunity because they didn't want them to be happy here, okay? And now someone here is viewed, maybe they view you as a missed opportunity. Maybe they invested in someone else. But there's a, lot, a lack of frustration here. So what is going to be the outcome of this situation? So what is going to be the outcome? What is going to be the outcome? Ooh, collective. Either way, baby, you still going to step into this Empress energy, okay? Can't nobody stop your shine. They may slow it down. They may delay it in some shape, form, or fashion, but you're still going to step into this divine feminine energy. You're still going to live this life of luxury. You're still going to be able to manifest and be able to attract all the things that you want into your life, you're still going to grow and continue to live abundantly and prosperously here, okay? Some of you could be pregnant, okay? Because with this, this sun card, maybe some of you are wanting to start your own family or have your own kids, you know, and not take care of everybody else. Damn kids, you know? But you are going to be able to step into that energy where you are able to create. Some of you guys, maybe you're artisans, you know, you create things by hand. Here, you're going to be creating products, whatever it is, that you're going to be doing, you're still going to step into this energy. They are not going to stop your shine here, okay? So let's see who this reading is about. Let's go to the who there, and then we'll roll the dice. We got uh, quite a few signs here. We had Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Sag, okay? 
So let's see who this reading is about for my collective. I love you guys. And I hope something here has resonated with you. Who is this reading about for my collective? And then we'll go through the signs, okay? I could be describing you guys or this could be the person we're talking about, okay? So this could be someone that's sick. We got age 60 to 65. Messages for the collective. Someone who wears weeds. Someone who's muscular and has a nice physique. And let's get one more. Someone with dark or brunette hair. All right, so let's get the signs. Let's see who this reading is about for my collective. So we got Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Taurus. Heavy Cancer, Sag, Gemini. Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.